Hey there everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Harmon. Today's video is all about the murder of James Michael Frankie, who was the Oregon State Department of Corrections director. Um, he was murdered on January 17th, 1989. And he was murdered inside the main Department of Corrections building, which is right in front of us. Um, this is located on 2575 Center Street Northeast here in Salem, Oregon. Um, it's a very, very beautiful, nice building. So in 1971, James attended the University of Virginia and got his law degree there at the college and uh, ended up working in the United States Navy. In 1975, uh, he started working as an attorney general for the New Mexico Department of Corrections. And finally, in 1987, uh, he was hired by the governor of Oregon at the time uh, to oversee the Department of Corrections here in Oregon. Uh, again, his title was director. And so he was only the director here from eight, 1987 to his ultimate murder several years later in 1989. On January 17th, 1989, uh, James was inside uh, it says he was on like the North Portico uh, level. Several of his coworkers found him uh, in a pool of his own blood. Uh, of course, obviously murdered. Uh, I believe it was around 6 p.m. or so of when they found him. There's this little plaque memorial here for, for James and uh, it sounds like he went by his middle name, Michael. So they of course, uh, put his uh, middle name on here. So it's Michael Frankie uh, or James Michael Frankie. And it says, end of watch, January 17th, 1989. Of course, when he was murdered. Uh, so to make it easier, guys, we're going to call James Michael by his uh, middle name, which I think is what he went by throughout his life. So we're going to go by his middle name just to make it easier for everyone to remember. Um, so anyway, so Michael was last seen uh, around 6.45 p.m. the day he was murdered. Um, about 40 minutes later, a couple of the staff members uh, went outside here to the parking lot and they noticed that his car was still there in the parking lot. Uh, however, his front door was already open, but he was nowhere to be found. So the staff members closed and locked his door and they went back inside to try to locate where he was. Uh, they searched the building but did not see where he was. And so they presumed that he left uh, in someone else's car, maybe uh, to go to a dinner party or something like that. A guard who was here inside patrolling, uh, he, he found uh, Michael's body about four hours later. Um, so I guess I'll put it around 10.45 p.m. or so. And he was found with several defensive wounds along with uh, some stab wounds, which ultimately proved fatal. Uh, the autopsy revealed that he was stabbed in the heart, uh, which was the main cause of death uh, that the autopsy uh, proved. But anyway, guys, we're gonna get into uh, a couple of the people who were uh, supposedly involved in his murder. Again, there's a lengthy list of different people that uh, they thought might be involved. A guy by the name of Frank Gable, uh, who was a meth dealer, uh, was actually originally charged with Michael Frankie's murder. Uh, many witnesses came forward in the trial claiming that either they heard that 
Frank had told them that he had murdered Michael or that they actually witnessed Frank murdering Michael Frankie. And so with all that evidence, um, on June 27th, 1991, Frank Gable was actually convicted and sent to prison. Uh, his charge or conviction was uh, to be life in prison without the possibility of parole. However, nearly 28 years later, on June 28th, 2019, uh, due to many of the witnesses uh, dropping their original statements, uh, Frank Gable was actually released from prison in 2019. Uh, apparently all the witnesses in the trial, they all recanted uh, that Frank Gable had told them that he had murdered Michael Frankie. And so because of that, uh, without any other real evidence against Frank, they had to release him. And so he was released again about 28 years later, almost to the day that he was arrested. Now there are many other people that police think potentially could have killed Michael Frankie. However, again, up until 2021 when I'm filming this, uh, no one else has really been charged or convicted um, and so it, it kind of remains a mystery up, up, to, up until this day. Um, there's many people who still think that Frank Gable was the one who did it. And of course, there's many other people who disagree and think that, you know, so-and-so did it or whoever. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's a very interesting case. Uh, technically, I guess it's unsolved. Anyway, guys, uh, if you're new around here, my name is Harmon. Uh, go around the country filming different infamous cases or crimes just like this one so if you enjoyed this one uh, make sure you just give it a like um, and again just liking the videos really does help my channel it helps uh, youtube recognize that people are liking my videos so if you can give a like or share my videos that does help um, but anyway guys until next time thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one peace